Hi, this is Laura Turner, and today I'm going to talk with you about how to write a funny wedding toast. So you've been asked to give a toast at a wedding, but you really want it to be entertaining and funny rather than, you know, uh, saccharine and sweet and all these things that toasts can be. Um, but you're not really sure how to go about making it funny, per se. Uh, what I would first advise you to do is think about the sense of humor of the bride and groom, um, and think about your sense of humor, and think if, if they collide and they burst, or if they sort of go together and they work very well. So think about how, uh, what is funny to you, and is that going to be funny to them? Um, and think about how you can make it into a funny toast rather than a body or a reverent toast or a toast that's going to be talked about um, as the horrible toast uh, for years to come. So sort of try to protect yourself in that vein if you have a sense of humor that you might not think is uh, compatible with theirs. Um, next, use anecdotes from your life with the bride and groom, especially if you, if you know them very well, which you probably do since you're giving a toast. Um, give it a personal touch. Think of the funniest moment that you shared with either of them, either the bride or the groom or both, um, and what was funny about that moment and how you felt in that moment and how that moment exemplifies your relationship with them. Um, you can also write a parody poem on wedding toasts and read that as your funny toast um, using you know the parody to your advantage. Um, you could also use punchlines. You know, I've known y'all for very long it's very too long, you know. You can use stuff like that, but you're probably going to end up, you know, falling into the trap of, you know, oh, not another punchline. Um, so what you really want to do, and this is my final point, is actually take that funny toast and wrap it up into something that actually really does um, mean something. Make it a sincere funny toast, because otherwise it's just going to be, well, that was a that was a funny toast with lots of punchlines, um, and nothing really came out of it. So by the time you get to the end of your toast, you're going to want to wrap it up with something sincere. It doesn't have to be saccharine and sweet. It just has to be honest um, and candid because that's what weddings are. So have fun with it.